Here is your latest African news, Africa wide. African heads of state set for May 18 Paris summit on COVID-19 and economic revival. A dozen African leaders, several European leaders and a dozen heads of international organizations will be received by French President Emmanuel Macron for a summit on the revival of the African economy and the impact of the pandemic. Let us know if these types of summit hosted by foreigners on African issues have any impacts on the everyday African. Mozambique. White people rescued before black people in Palma. White contractors were prioritized for evacuation ahead of black locals during a rescue operation following an attack in March by an armed group known locally as Al-Shabaab on the Mozambican town of Palma, according to Amnesty International. In a report compiled by interviews with 11 black survivors, Amnesty charged that even dogs were pulled to safety before black people by a helicopter that airlifted civilians from a hotel where they sought refuge. Unfortunately, this might go to show the type of world that we Africans might still be living in. Ivory Coast, teenage girl found in a boat drifting for 22 days at sea. A 17-year-old from Ivory Coast has shared her incredible story of being rescued after spending three weeks adrift at sea. Out of 59 passengers, Aicha is one of the only three to survive, recovering after 10 days in hospital. It's the biggest known tragedy involving migrant boats in the Canary Islands. Aicha left her hometown in November and traveled to Mauritania, where she got on the boat. This further shows the dangers immigrants still face trying to reach Europe. Please don't try it. It's not worth your life. Nigeria. Burner Boy, the first African artist with 100 million streams from three albums, Chart Data. Grammy Award-winning Nigerian singer has made history as the first African artist to achieve over 100 million streams on Spotify. Burner Boy's last three albums, African Giant, Outside and Twice as Tall, had each hit 100 million on the said platform, according to local reports. This comes a barely a day after Burner Boy's mother and manager, Bose Ogulu, was named as one of the 2021 international power players by Billboard. South Africa. South African-born entrepreneur pledges $200 million for African vaccine. As entrepreneur Mr. Patrick Soon Shuong, who hails from South Africa and into pharmaceutical entrepreneurship, has made it known that his family's foundation will donate a sum of $211 million to help in developing the production of vaccines in South Africa. He made it known through a meeting with the World Health organization where the issue of fighting the spread of COVID-19 was discussed. He said his target for the donation is to transfer the know-how of the development of vaccines and build self-sufficiency and innovation. Tanzania. Rawak Dakik becomes the first Tanzanian woman to climb Mount Everest. Rawan Dakik on Wednesday became the first Tanzanian woman to climb Mount Everest, the world's highest peak. Though she's yet to make it to the summit, Rawan has completed her second rotation at 7,200 meters. She is now waiting for good weather to reach the summit, a feat she's likely to achieve on the 20th of May. Malawi. Malawi president proposes a switch from growing tobacco to cannabis. Malawi president Lazarus Chakwera was armed, was warned that his country's leading foreign exchange earner, tobacco, was in terminal, terminal decline and urged a switch to high growth crops like cannabis, which was legalized locally for some uses last year. Tobacco was expected to earn less than 200 million US dollars in 2021, a figure roughly similar to the past two years, but well below previous annual earnings that used to top 350 million US dollars. 
Countries around the world are either legalizing or relaxing laws around cannabis, including several in Southern Africa, such as your Zimbabwe, Lesotho, and Zambia. Thank you so, so much for watching. Visit our YouTube channel, Tuna Cheki, to watch our weekly news reports and our website at tunacheki.tv for all the latest African news updates. You can directly support this new series by becoming our YouTube patron or becoming a member. And remember, Africa is watching. And please, Feel free to leave your suggestions, news tips or topics about Africa that you'd like us to explore.